Hi there, today we're working with passing multiple arguments and methods. So let's say we want to send um, two values to a method instead of just one. Uh, here's how you would do that. Um, let's say we want to send the values of 5 and 10 to the method called add sum. Well, here's how you do it. You just put 5, then have a comma, and then put 10 in that uh, in the, the method um, parentheses right here. Uh, so these would be our arguments. And then our add sum method would look like this. Um, in our parameter declarations, we would define uh, you know whatever uh, data type that we're expecting to receive. So we'd have uh, an integer, and we'd give a, we'd have our parameter variable. We call it int one, and then for our second um, value that we'd be uh, we, we we'd be receiving, um, our second parameter we're going to call that int two. Notice that when I do this, I have to declare um, an integer data type uh, for each of these separate uh, parameter variables. Uh, inside here, I then uh, just you know I declare uh, another integer called int sum, and I add in one int one and int two, put that into int sum, and I di display this to the screen. So we're working with um, sending multiple arguments to our methods. Some things to keep in mind, and uh, whenever you are um, declaring your your method, for example, add sum, if I was uh, to have you know, uh, let's say if I was sending uh, some double data types to um, to add some. If I did the following, if I said double dbl1 comma dbl2, I would run into an error, and uh, this is because for every single uh, uh, value, for every single argument that you're sending the parameter, you have to uh, list the data type for, for every single one. So this statement right here is correct because I say double dbl1 double dbl2. Another thing to keep in mind is that variables are passed by value. Um, let's go back up here real quick. If I send this 5 and this 10, if I send these arguments to this method, and then let's say within this method um, we change int1 and int2, and then we come back to the main method and we display uh, these again, Th these don't change because these parameter variables are copies and they are separate from the original values. All right, let's go to a demonstration, and I'm just going to walk you through this and show you how this works. Uh, so notice the first thing I'm doing is I'm, I'm importing the JOption pane. I'm also importing uh, uh, the decimal format class because I want to format stuff as currency. The name of my class is called the special someone demo, and uh, notice I've got my main method right here, and I've got two other methods. One is called total allowance and the other is called money left over. So let's go ahead and let's start for, uh, with the main method. Let's see what's going on here. I've declared a few variables. STR input is going to hold data uh, before it's parsed. And allowance uh, is going to be our allowance per week. DBL weeks is the number of weeks you get paid and uh, DBL dinner, dinner is going to be the cost of the dinner. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to do is we're going to have an introduction for the user. So we're going to say, "Welcome to the special someone demo." Then I'm going to list, uh, you know, my period and uh, my name. Then I'm going to get the allowance from the user. So I'm going to um, have an input dialog box that's going to ask the user, "What is your allowance per week?" That's going to go into a string variable, and then I'm going to parse that into a double data type, so it goes into DBL allowance. The second thing I'm going to ask the user is, "How many weeks do you save your allowance?" That's going to go into DBL weeks. And then I'm going to pass those two values to the total allowance method. So I'm passing DBL allowance and DBL weeks. So these are my arguments right here. Now, in my parameter declarations for total allowance, uh, you know, this, this method better have uh, parameter declarations that accept double data types. So let's go down to total allowance and let's look at that. And here we are, and what do you know? I've got two parameter uh, parameters uh, right here, so double dbl1. This is my first uh, parameter variable, and I've got double dbl2. So they can accept what I'm, uh, you know, the arguments uh, from the main method. So inside this uh, this method right here, I'm, uh, uh, I've declared a variable right here called dbl total, and then I create a decimal formatter object, and uh, right here I'm multiplying dbl1 times dbl2 to get dbl total, and then I'm going to display um, that information to the user. I'm display the allowance per week 
and uh, the weeks that I saved, and then the total allowance. And I'm formatting that uh, using currency. So then, uh, once we're finished with this method, I go back up to uh, the main method right here. And then I'm going to tell the uh, user, you meet a special someone and take them out on a date. And then I'm going to grab the following information. How much do you spend on dinner? So I'm going to put whatever the cost of dinner was into a variable called DBL dinner. And then I'm going to call a method called money left over. And I'm going to pass it the three following variables, DBL allowance, DBL weeks, and DBL dinner. So if I go down to my money left over method, notice in my parameter declaration, um, I am accepting three different double uh, variables. And they, this will receive um, the arguments in the order that I send them. So for example, DBL allowance will become DBL1, DBL weeks will become DBL2, DBL dinner will become DBL3. Uh, or DBL1, DBL2, and then what is this? DBL food. Okay. All right, so inside this method, I'm going to have another variable called DBL total. Remember, this is local, so it, this is totally different from the DBL total that we saw up here in total allowance. They can't see one another. I'm going to create a decimal formatter object, and then I'm going to calculate the total, put it in here, and then I'm going to display the total. I'm going to say, after your date, you have this much money left. So if I run this program, here's how it works. Welcome to the special someone demo. What is your allowance per week? Let's say $15. How many weeks do you save your allowance? I uh, saved it for three weeks. So allowance per week, $15. Weeks you saved is $3, and total allowance is $45. So this is the total allowance method that was called right here. Now we're back in the main method. You meet a special someone and take them out on a date. How much do you spend on dinner? I spent, I went all out. I took her to McDonald's and we spent $10. After your date, you have $35 yet left. Yes, to go to GameStop and buy the latest Xbox game. All right, and that last part was the money leftover method that we called. All right, so today we're working with passing multiple arguments. Uh, hope this was helpful. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you next time.